Hi, welcome to GNS Accessories. Today we're going to do a quick video on uh, Kaz products, jackets, vests. Um, we'll show you how to connect them basically because uh, the connecting of the heat control unit um, and the power input uh, seems to get a little bit lost sometimes and we get phone calls every day saying this won't work, that won't work, I've connected it all up, it's not working properly and it's always because it's been connected up incorrectly. Okay, so uh, we're gonna to talk to you today about how to connect it and how it should work and which fuse to use, because that confuses people as well. Okay, okay, so we'll start with the heated jacket, which is probably one of the, the most popular selling Kais items that we do. Okay, in the pack you will get the permanent connection lead, okay? Uh, that will be that will come with all these different fuses. We'll talk about fuses in a second. Currently, you get a free heat controller uh, in with the jackets, so we'll tell you how to connect that up as well and, and why you should use that. Right. Okay. Firstly, um, you've got the jacket out of the packet, and you've got this, which is the uh, power supply. Okay. This comes in the packet. So what we're going to do is we're going to take off. This little twizzle here and allow the cables to become free. So this is what you've got then. You've got a um, power input for the jacket with a little waterproof cap on it for when you're not using it. And you've got an inline fuse that's currently empty, nothing in it. And then you've got quite um, easily uh, labelled positive and negative Okay, this is for the battery. Okay, so we're gonna connect the, the red positive lead to the positive plus sign on the battery and the black negative lead to the minus sign or the negative sign on the battery. And that bit is as easy as that. Uh, before we do that though, we're gonna choose a fuse. Now, depending on what uh, amperage your case product uh, draws will depend on what fuse you use. Um, I think the current draw on the jacket is, I think it's about six and a half amps. Let me have a look. Um, oh, jacket, seven amps, okay. So they don't do a seven amp fuse, but they do do a 7.5 amp. So we'll use that one. You always round it up, you never round it down. So if it's a seven amp jacket, you use a seven and a half amp fuse. So the seven and a half amp fuse is the brown one. It's got 7.5 written on the top of it. We'll slot that into the, the fuse housing like so. They are pretty stiff these, you have to really force them in. Once you've put that in there, there's a waterproof cover that clicks over the top, okay? That is then ready to connect to the battery. So as I said before, positive on the positive, which is the red lead, negative on the negative, which is the uh, black lead. If you're unsure about any of this, please get a local bike uh, repair centre to do it for you, okay? Then what we want is this coming out from under the seat somewhere where you can easily access it. So if you're sat on the bike you, and you're sat on the bike like that, you want that lead popping out somewhere where we can plug into it. The lead that comes out of the jacket is at the front, okay? I'm gonna show you that now. So it makes sense for this to pop out the front of the seat somewhere or from out of a side panel, but towards the front where you're gonna be sat, okay? Right, the power lead for the connection to the bike. If you open the jacket up, there's a zip pocket near the hem. That conceals the power lead, and it's got quite clearly labeled on it, 12 volt power input, okay? So that is what is gonna to connect to the lead that you've connected to the battery. Pop straight in, it's quite positive. Yeah, it's got a little uh, little recess on it and you can hear it pop. So that is you connected to the bike then, all right? Don't connect it anywhere else. Don't try and connect it in the sleeve. Don't try and connect it in that auxiliary thing there. It's got to go on the 12 volt input. That's that bit sorted. Next thing, as I said to you before, you may be lucky enough to receive a free uh, heat controller, or you might have to buy a heat controller. Either way, I'm gonna show you how this goes now, and why you would use it. If you don't use the heat controller, 
once you plug into the bike, the jacket becomes live straight away. Okay, so you're on full power until you unplug from the bike. All right, well, so these things get hot. In fact, the new extreme uh, jacket gets about 25% hotter than the old one. So you're gonna want a heat controller, whether you buy it or whether it comes free with it. That goes in this zipped pocket here, which is next to your hand warmer pocket, but it zips in a different direction. Your hand warmer pocket zips down, this one zips up. In there, once you've unzipped it, you will see that connector with a loop wire, okay? If you're gonna use the heat controller, you unplug the loop wire, put it safe in a drawer. If you're gonna always use that, you're never gonna need that uh, loop wire again. So, there it is. And you can see we've got a, a male and a female connector. The heat controller also has a male and female connector, so it couldn't be more easy. The male goes into the female on that side and the female goes into the male on that side. That is the heat controller fitted. Okay, both wires go into that, what was loop wire. Not one of them into the power lead and one of them in there. No, that's one of the most common mistakes is you try and put the heat controller into the power supply. It doesn't go there, it goes in that zip pocket. Once it's in the zip pocket, you can control when to switch it on and what power mode to set it into. Press and hold, it'll switch it on. Tap it and it'll flick through the power modes and it'll be high, medium or low. And then press and hold to switch it off. This makes you in control of the, of the jacket without unplugging the power lead to the bike. Okay, so we've got it connected to the bike now. We've got the heat controller in, which you can have dangling down like that so you can access it out the bottom of your jacket. Um, you know, flick through the heat settings. To be fair, with these new ones, you ain't gonna have it on high unless you're in the Antarctic for a long period of time because they are very warm. So you're probably gonna start on high just to get the, the heat in there, then you're gonna flick it down to a medium or low setting, or sometimes you're gonna turn it off and you do it all via this little, uh, this little controller here. All right, so that's how you rig that up. So we've connected it to the bike. We've connected it to the um, heat controller where the gloves connect in. So if you've bought the gloves, you don't then need to use all this that comes with the gloves if you've got a jacket. The gloves, quite simply, connects into the ends of the sleeves. It couldn't be easier. But remember what I said before about the drawer, okay? If you plug the, the gloves in, let's say the gloves have a three amp drawer. I'm guessing at this now, I've not looked, but let's say they've got a three amp drawer. Your jacket's got a seven amp drawer. So um, you're gonna then need to increase the fuses, right? Okay, so you're gonna start to need to, need to use a bigger fuse and you always round it up, okay? You never round it down, you always round it up. So if we increase the drawer to, I don't know, 13 amps and we've only got a 15 amp fuse, we're gonna have to use the 15 amp fuse, not a 10 amp fuse, right? So you're always gonna round it up but you've got to be um, made aware of that. Every time you connect something in, you've got to be aware of how much draw. And it'll tell you the draw on each item. In fact, it tells you the draw on a little uh, piece of paper that tells you the draw of all the items. So then you can do simple maths and fit the appropriate fuse. The beauty of the case is, as I said, it all plugs into itself. So you only ever need one power supply to the bike. It's very, very neat. If you're gonna use the gloves and not the jacket, use one power supply and that feeds into the gloves. If you're gonna use the jacket, you can plug everything into it. As gloves go into the ends of the sleeves. If you're gonna use the trousers and let's say um, the socks or whatever, that then plugs in quite easily to if you're using the jacket, the jacket. So, you can see here, the trousers, I've got again, a 12 volt input, yeah? These are the trousers. If you're using the jacket, you can simply plug that into the auxiliary socket here, okay? At the bottom, 
of the jacket. So plug that in. We've now got the jacket, one power supply to the bike, and the trousers plugged into them. So we're keeping it simple, okay? If you've got the socks and you've got the trousers, if you go to the bottom of the legs, again, you've got a little socket. Plug the socks into there. All right, so it's, it's a, it all just builds upon itself. So you can put the socks on there. If you haven't got the trousers and you want the socks on, they come with long cables, again, to flick into there. If you've only got the socks and nothing else, it comes with the cables to go directly to the bike. All right? So it really is quite simple. If you're unsure on any of it, though, just drop us a little message and we'll answer as soon as we can. Or contact your local JNS Accessories and they will talk you through the process. Even better, call in and they'll physically do it for you. All right? So we've got the gloves, the plug in the sleeves. Uh, we've got the power supply that plugs in the bottom of the jacket. We've got the heat controller, which you now know goes where that loop wire was. Nowhere else. You'd be amazed where people try and plug this thing in. It's, you know, and then see it doesn't work. Uh, if you've got the vest, let's just quickly talk to you about the vest. If you've got the vest, same thing. Power supply pops out the bottom pocket. Okay. Um, the vest, you see a pocket here on the vest with a little uh, split vent there. The vest you can run off the auxiliary batteries. So if you're not on the bike and you want to use it for walking, dog walking, fishing, whatever you do, you can actually run the vest off a little power supply. So you're going to say, oh right, can I run my jacket off that? Unfortunately, because the jacket draws that many, um, that much current, a battery on the jacket wouldn't last two minutes and it and it would be a bit of a waste of money. So they don't recommend you run the jacket off a battery. You could try it, but I don't think you're gonna have any joy with it. You're just gonna end up disappointed. It draws too much draw. The waistcoat draws less because the heat elements aren't, they haven't got any sleeves for the heat elements and it hasn't got um, a collar on it. So the draw on the uh, waistcoat is less. So you can use an auxiliary battery and that simply goes in that pocket and obviously it's a Kais product, and obviously your power lead then plugs into the battery. If you don't want to use the battery, you run it off the bike in exactly the same way as you run the jacket. All right? Um, if you're running gloves off the waistcoat, under the armpit, you have your auxiliary power inputs, and that's one under each armpit. Okay? So you can run your gloves in there. If you want to run your trousers, exactly the same as in the jacket. There's a little port there to run your trousers. Um, have we covered anything? Ah, Jack, uh, the waistcoat again has a loop wire. If you want to run a heat controller, unplug that loop wire, put it somewhere safe, plug your heat controller in. If you don't want a heat controller, um, you can leave the loop wire in, but you will be on full power all the time until you unplug it from the vehicle or the separate battery supply. Uh, yeah, so yeah, I hope that sort of weighs it up for you and sums it up. And, sheds a bit of light on it because honestly plugging it in there's that many variations we've seen it's unbelievable and they're all wrong that is the way you do it that's the way it should be done uh, any questions get back to us hope you've enjoyed the video uh, thanks for watching like and subscribe and as i say if you get stuck in anything come in and see us or give us a ring